All right, guys, in this video, we're going to work with this Garmin um, CSV file in Python. So I'm going to open up PyCharm, which is the IDE that I prefer. And I'm going to make a just a new project. And let's change this directory to um, that one we were working in, the Garmin fit folder. And I want to use a different Python. I'm going to use the one that comes with my ArcGIS, but you don't have to use that one. And uh, just click create and uh, create from existing sources. And I want this to be in a new window. Brought it to the other monitor. All right, so now you, you see where we are, right? We're basically, we made a uh, project in this directory. So that's why we see these fit files here. Um, so let's just make a, a new Python file and call it um, Garmin CSV script. All right, so the first thing to work with the CSV file, we're gonna need this CSV uh, module. And now we, we have to open this CSV file. So let's just Google how to open a CSV file with Python. And I like the answers from Stack Overflow. So let's check this one out. Um, that's writing it. So here's reading it. Um, I'm looking for the most simple one. Here we go. This is pretty simple, right? Let's try this one. I don't want to add anything that I don't need to add. So that's really simple. So it's just saying with open and then we have to give it the path to the CSV file. So we actually happen to have it right here. So we probably can copy path right like that, the absolute path. So that just means we want the exact location on the hard drive, not just the file name. I need to put that in a string and then put R in front of it so it doesn't, so it uh, um, doesn't think these are escape characters. And it looks good. So now what we need to do is let's just, let's just print CSV read. I'm gonna call this CSV reader actually. And let's just print CSV reader, see what that is. So it's the CSV reader object. So what we need to do is we basically, we need to like loop through this CSV reader. So we can say for row in CSV reader, print row. So let's just see if this gives us what we are expecting. So there you go. So this is how we can basically look at a CSV file in Python and have it for each row that's in the CSV file, it's printing it out. And it's actually turning it into a list if you look at it closely. So now each row is represented as a list and each item is separated by a comma. So that's what this delimiter is. So if we didn't have that comma here, it wouldn't know what to split it on. So if for some reason, like your CSV file, instead of having commas everywhere, if it had like semicolons, that's where you would change that value. All right, so let's take a closer look at this data. So remember, we're trying to get the latitude and longitude here because we want to use it to, to create points like this. So all of this stuff, we're not gonna worry about. So we're just gonna skip over all this. It looks like what we want is items that have 
this seven value. So how can we limit all the stuff we're getting back to just this seven, J just the seven stuff and skip over all this other stuff. So let's just, since this is a, a list, right? We should be able to print each item. So if we print item, this is item zero, one, two, three. Let's just print out the first item or the index one of every single value. So if we do this, we're expecting to get all these numbers back. Okay. So what we can do is we can just say if row one is equal to seven, then, then and only then is when we want to print the row. So now we're only getting stuff from row seven or from that has seven in that um, in that right all right so that's cool so now what do we want to do well now we want to get these latitude and longitude values actually let's I want to also get rid of this definition so we should be able to say something like So now we have to figure out how we can convert this to, to decimal degrees. So this is like kind of a weird looking notation and it took me a little bit to figure it out, but it's because it's in um, their semicircles. So let's close all these. And if we Google um, Python convert uh, semicircles to decimal, it's just a, a math equation we're gonna have to use and this is what we want. So degrees equals this. So now if we say uh, position, let's make a new variable called position lat degrees equals So it's saying semicircles. So in this case, semicircles is position lat, position lat semicircles, which uh, we have up here as a variable. And now we're just doing this equation. And in order, so we're getting kind of a weird error here, and it has to do with this caret. So in Python, instead of using like a caret for the powers, we need to give it two asterisks like that. It's just a different way of, it's just a different syntax. So now let's try printing. Let's print this, get rid of this N here. And we're gonna print this here. But we're gonna say degrees and change this to lat degrees, change this to lat degrees I guess while we're at it let's just do the longitude change this to longitude and just copy this and this will be long and let's put a new line here all right, let's try this out. So, oh, we got an error here. I cannot multiply sequence. Hmm. I'm not in. Oh, you know what we have to do? So, when we're converting it to Latin long. We need this value to be a float. So right now I think it's just a string. So this has to be a float. In order to like do this kind of math, it needs to be a float. All right, let's try that. Okay, so here we have more information. And there you go. So this looks more like what we're 
interested in. So yeah, like these semicircles look nothing like how it's represented in decimal degrees. So I'm just gonna, we don't need to print these out anymore. Cool. All right, so now we actually don't even need to be printing the row out. All right, cool. So this is what I was uh, wanted to show you guys in this video, how we can kind of get it cleaned up. Um, actually, I think in this video, let's also put it in a list. So instead of just printing every everything out um, like that, let's put it all in a list because that's kind of how we're going to have to work with it um, in a in the next video. So outside of this for loop, I'm going to make a list called chords list and set it equal to empty. So this is just making a new list. And now what we want to do is we want to append, every time we loop through, we want to append a new value to the list. And let's actually put them in a tuple. So I want them to be pairs, right? So I don't just want to have a long list of individual values like this, because then it's kind of hard to determine what it's paired with. So if we put it inside a tuple, we're kind of like separating them and making them um, a pair. So now we can just say um, append position lat degrees, position long degrees. And now at the end, outside the for loop, at the very end, let's just print the value of chords list. All right, so now here, here's our list down here. So it's a list and then inside of it, you see we have these tuples. So there's a, a, basically a point, there's another point, there's another point. So you see why I wanted to put it in a tuple? Because if I didn't, this list would just be a list of numbers and we wouldn't know what the point is really. So that's it. That's what I wanted to show you in this video. Um, in the next couple of videos, I'm going to show you how, how first we can use um, ArcPy with ArcGIS to make a shape file like this. And then I, I think also it makes sense to make uh, the same thing, but using open source stuff. Um, maybe we'll use like QGIS's Python libraries. Uh, and then also another video we can uh, use like OGR to uh, make a KMZ or something, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, I hope that was helpful. If, if it was, please uh, like and subscribe. Thanks.